geocentrism is that the earth is stationary and that the heavenly bodies are revolving around the earth. Now, nowadays, if you even suggest something like that, you'll be crucified, <laughs> basically. Um, not only that, um, there's a growing movement nowadays, and this is not just amongst Christians, this is in the scientific community, uh, that the earth is actually a plane, it's a flat plane, it's not globular, and it's stationary. It's a very popular movement now. But all the astronauts who have gone up, uh, up the space station and all that, they say it's, it's round. I mean, yeah, that's what, that's what they said. We haven't seen a picture. I mean, they have these um, images of astronauts working on a space station with the Earth in the background. But you look at the Earth, there's no satellites, which is supposed to be 20,000 satellites. You don't see a single one. You don't see any planes anywhere. And every so often, one of their videos, you'll see, like, bubbles come up, which means they're in a pool in front of a green screen. And you can find these videos. How, how does water convex itself? So if the earth is round, water is bending itself. Can I do that? Can I conduct that experiment? I can certainly pour water into a container, and the water will take the shape of the container, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about pouring water out and then making it into a convex uh, sculpture without it, because water always finds a level. But it's the gravity which is keeping it. That's the, that's the whole answer. It's, it's a big catch-all. It's gravity. It's gravity. So how is that? Don't worry about it. It's gravity. So people are in Australia walking around upside down, and trillions of tons of water are sticking to the earth upside down because of gravity. But a bird flying over the ocean. So gravity is so strong that it holds all this water, but just weak enough for a bird to fly over the ocean. Or a fish to fly through, to swim through that water. Right? So, it's very strange. Fickle thing gravity is. It's Isaac Newton, right? A knighted Freemason occultist. Sitting around him, an apple falls on him. Oh, there's gravity, what an epiphany. No, it's, it's mutual, it's, it's what is called relative density. Initially, this sounds like a totally ridiculous notion, right? But those who uh, make this argument, again, are saying that there's scientific backing for it and that the vast majority of the opinions of human beings throughout history is that the Earth is geocentric. You believe in gravity. I believe in God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> also, another thing about the moon is you never see the dark side of the moon. You never see the back side of the moon. So if it's orbiting, why don't we ever see the back side? All it does is go like this. It just rotates like that. It never turns around. There's no back side. It's a light. It's translucent. Mm-hmm. You can't land on something like that. But then you don't believe they landed on the moon. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, how do you get through the Van Allen radiation belts? Even right now, if you talk to modern scientists, they say, what's the biggest challenge with space travel? So we, haven't, we can't even get a low Earth orbit. We're in, you know, 200 miles from the Earth, and then there's massive radiation belts. We have to figure that out. This is 50 years after six moon landings. <laughs> they, they, they can't go 200 miles off the Earth. But 50 years ago, they went 500,000 miles round trip. Six times. You know, 19 billion dollars. They fleeced from the American public. 550 astronauts have been in space. 94% or something. Freemasons. It's a secret society. It's a fact. Buzz Aldrin, Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins. The first men on the moon. And 33 degree Masons. This is a fact. And a secret society keeps secrets. That's what just said. We found seven new planets. They're just like Earth. <laughs> sure, they did it. 